This is Geo Creations. Even the simplest cartoons require a great deal of planning. The first thing we're going to do is figure out our story, who our characters are, and where the story occurs. This simple setup will actually propose a lot of challenges for artists learning how to do cartooning for the first time. The challenge goes like this. Write a three-sentence story. The story will have a beginning, middle, and end. The requirements are as follows. You must be the main character, the protagonist. You must have two to three characters in your story, and only one setting or location. Learners oftentimes struggle with trying to operate within one setting or location, but trust me, in the long run, this will make things easier. An example story could look like this. Eric and the Space Corgi Hero were hiding from an attacking alien in a space station. Hero threw a tennis ball to distract the evil alien. The evil alien remained undistracted and continued firing his blaster at Eric and Hero. This story has an introduction, conflict, and resolution. After we have established our simple three-sentence story, it's best to go ahead and design the style of our protagonist. The way from which we design our protagonist often affects how the viewer or reader interprets the story. Realistic figures often connotate drama. If we illustrate our protagonist in a chibi or cute or cartoony style, it tends to suggest humor. Anthropomorphism, however, is very similar to chibi style. It often can suggest humor or more of a slapstick tone with this design. When drawing in your figures, I suggest first starting out with realism. Use the figure drawing method to lay out the proportions and scale of your figure. Make sure it measures approximately six to six and a half heads in length. After you've established the masses of your figure, implement the details to make it look more like you. I strongly suggest, if not insist, that you be looking at a photo of yourself, a full figure shot, to make sure you achieve accuracy in your design. While some changes in clothing aren't that big of a deal, a photograph will help make sure you maintain proportion and likeness. Be sure to include those details that make you a distinctive and interesting person in your design. When designing your chibi and animal versions of yourself, sketch lightly and check your proportions. Chibi and animal style illustrations always have a larger head. The chibi is only two and a half heads tall in this example, and the animal is also a little bit disproportionate to real life. After you've illustrated all three styles of your protagonist, select the one which best suits the tone of your story. Use that tone to decide how to illustrate your remaining characters. My example story used Hero and an Evil Alien, so I'm going to draw in Hero in great detail to make sure my Space Corgi is ready for the attack. As with all sketches and designs, be fully prepared to do a lot of erasing and changing to make sure your character works. Scale and proportion are to be adjusted at this phase, and figuring out what details go where is also important to figure out before you begin the actual cartoon story illustration. If an artist tries to determine which details go where while they're actually illustrating the story, they might find out certain things don't work. Next, draw in the setting of your story using one or two point linear perspective. Include details that help to inform the reader where the story is actually happening. If you're not sure how to accomplish one or two point perspective, I suggest you refer back to my previous lessons on linear perspective for help. Thanks for your time.